surprise, surprise, Fox News is attacking Bernie Sanders again, and this new round of attacks comes after he introduced a fully fleshed out Green New Deal proposal. So I anticipated these attacks, but what is surprising to me is just the sheer level of laziness in the way that they're choosing to attack him because they're not even trying to attack him in an intellectual way. Like, they're just trotting out the same argument that they used before that wasn't very persuasive then, and it still isn't very persuasive now, but essentially what they're trying to say is Bernie Sanders must be a hypocrite because he has a carbon footprint but also cares about climate change. And it's just, it's <laughs> it honestly is baffling that they still think that this is a persuasive line of attack. Take a look. Bernie Sanders getting called out on the campaign trail after rolling out his $16 trillion Green New Deal. Turns out the socialist is a bit of a hypocrite, though, when it comes to climate. Watch. You seem adamant about climate change. Yep. Of course. So what ways would you take to practice what you preach if you were to become president? No, I'm not going to walk to California. All right, you know. <laughs> Look, you know, I understand that. You know, we, we do the best we can as an example, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that we're not going to use fossil fuels. I'm not going to tell you I'm not going to get on a plane. That would not be true. I mean, it seems like people like Bernie have a higher threshold, Martha, when it comes mm. to, you know, walking the walk. Absolutely. I mean, you know, when I watched that moment, it reminded me of when we did our town hall with Bernie Sanders and it had just been announced that he made over a million dollars on his book. And I asked him, you know, you say that millionaires and billionaires should pay more in their taxes. So would you volunteer, you know, to, to walk the walk to say, you know what, I should be paying more right. because I am now a millionaire. What did he and say? He, I he, you know, he, he, he was mean, first of all. <laughs> and, and he said, you know, why don't you pay more? And I said, well, I'm not running for president and oh. I'm not advocating any of the things that you're that you're talking about. But why? Why wouldn't you? So he doesn't like to be pressed on these uh, these issues no. that he claims to feel strongly about, and that was another example. You can tell, you're right, that that is his biggest weakness. When you accuse him of hypocrisy, he gets very defensive. Well, first, uh, Bernie better call up the Obamas because they just purchased a 12 million dollar mansion on the coast. <laughs> now, if you listen to the Dems, that coast will not be there in 10 years. So does uh, the Obamas know something that the Dems don't? That it's all BS, which stands for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> the thing is, the secret to being a progressive is to be on top. Because if you're on top, then you can enforce your beliefs without ever having to adhere to them. And then when people come after you, you can be like de Blasio and you go, well, look, you know what? I got everybody else to obey and to sacrifice, which allows me to go to the gym in, Brook in Brooklyn <laughs> right, with an entourage or with Bernie to own three homes and fly private or first class. Yeah, that's like that Bill too. Maher. He can root for a recession because he can he, he can, can wait out a recession with his money. Well, I remember when Beto's tax returns or financials came out and, and people said, well, why haven't you donated more to charity since you come from a very wealthy family? And he essentially said, well, I am the gift. Oh. <laughs> I am the gift and wow. I'm running for Public president service. to do the most day. good. And people like Bernie Bernie Sanders want to control every type of industry so that the little guy has to come and beg them for whatever it is that they need. He's the guy that said that bread lines in Nicaragua were a good thing, right? I mean, but he's the one who's They're not going to be standing there. in those I lines, heard. right? Is that right? No, that's oh. not true. Well, oh, I'm just, that was a joke. Very bad. <laughs> you know, I listen to you too much. Uh, you probably should. But I must say, I must, I'm so curious because it seems to me that when I look at the people who are backing Donald Trump, the big donors, they're on top. And they seem to be putting their money it away into Donald else. Trump. Donald Trump is doing great with the big, donors, with the Steve Rosses and all. And the little people. donors. Well, the 60 percent so is doing a little better. But you know what? You look at the money that comes from PAX, Greg, you, the, the so-called dark money. Oh, he so, has a huge lead in this. But to get back to Bernie for a second, all of you, I think, are not understanding that Bernie is not playing small ball. He's talking transformational politics on issues that the Republicans have nothing to say about. Then he will I be the nominee, say, as I predicted. But I don't know. You see, I don't know that <laughs> Democrats feel confident that he won't be easily portrayed. He calls himself a socialist. And, and what does Trump want? A, He's a stronger candidate than, than energy-wise than Joe. You know, Juan, yeah. the yeah. way that you change behavior, especially when it comes to pollution and the environment, is to do it on an individual level. And if someone like Bernie Sanders can't name one possible thing that he's willing to cut back on when he's telling everyone else we're going to tax the, you to the, out the wazoo, tax the middle class, sue the oil companies, completely take over the government with the oil companies for no crime that they've committed, and yet he's not willing to say one thing he's willing to do. So I don't know what that town hall participant said because for whatever reason, Fox News conspicuously edited out 
what he said, and I couldn't find the original clip, but let me just respond to that individual by saying, first of all, there is no ethical consumption under capitalism, and second of all, Climate change cannot be solved at the individual level because 100 corporations emit 70% of greenhouse gas emissions. So you can personally choose to go vegan. You can personally choose to start biking to work. But that's not going to save the planet. We need government action here because climate change is an issue that is interconnected. When the planet's temperature increases, this affects a multitude of different things. This isn't just about driving. This leads to desertification, ocean acidification. This has political ramifications. This could lead to mass migration, areas of the planet becoming uninhabitable. The Middle East, for example, would be too hot for people to survive. Areas of the country being flooded being underwater permanently, potentially. Florida, for example. So for you to say, oh, you know, if I just choose to make better decisions as a consumer, that's going to save the planet. One, that's not reasonable to expect people to do that. And two, even if every single person, even if 100% of us at the individual level did that, as I stated, not going to save the planet. So if you make this argument, it just tells me that you're not clever, you're not smart, you're uneducated about this issue. Period. Now, they also decided to liken what Bernie Sanders said about flying and air travel to him not wanting to raise his own taxes. So one of the hosts on the table there, she co-hosted Bernie Sanders Town Hall and she said, look, I asked him about this. I said, you're a millionaire. Why don't you volunteer more taxes? That is such a dumb argument. First of all, it doesn't work that way. Bernie Sanders can't just send the IRS an extra check and say, here's some extra money, teehee, I love paying taxes. Like, nobody loves paying taxes just for the sake of paying taxes. Nobody writes a check to the IRS because they like the way it makes them feel. The reason why Bernie Sanders is saying that we should increase taxes on wealthy people, including himself, is because we expect something in return. Raising his taxes to help fund Medicare for All is something that's valuable. Just needlessly giving the IRS more money when you know that that's going to be used to bomb children in the Middle East and North Africa, what point does that serve? The point of increasing taxes on the rich is to have that money go towards things that help people. So that's just an idiotic thing to say and to claim that that's hypocritical. I mean, that's so disingenuous, and she claimed that Bernie Sanders was mean in his response, but I mean, look, you asked a stupid question, so you should expect a stupid answer. Now, here's what one of the hosts said. Bernie wants to control every type of industry, so the little guy has to beg them for whatever it is that they need. This is the guy who said that breadlines in Nicaragua are a good thing. So first of all, Bernie Sanders has not advocated that the government be in control of every type of industry, but if we're being honest here, that's more preferable than private companies being in control of every single industry. So I mean, for example, healthcare. You don't want private companies delivering healthcare to us because there's a conflict of interest. They care more about making money, increasing profits, increasing shareholder value. So to say that in all instances, you know, I'm just, I'm hyper-capitalist, we should never allow the government to be involved. Well, it, when it comes to healthcare, at least, just that's just one example, who would you prefer to be in charge of that industry? The government who answers to the people, who is accountable to the people, or private corporations who is accountable to no one, whose board members we can't elect. I mean, I think the answer is pretty obvious. You can make the case that maybe, you know, when it comes to fashion and clothing and video games, that can be up to private companies. But I mean, she, this is someone who's not, you know, a good faith actor. She's just trying to smear Bernie Sanders. Now, I want to give you the full context about that quote that she cited because she keeps bringing this up. This is the actual video of what Bernie Sanders said when he was asked about bread lines in Nicaragua. You know, it's funny, sometimes American journalists talk about how bad a country is because people are lining up for food. That's a good thing. In other countries, people don't line up for food. The rich get the food. Now, to give you some additional context here that she conveniently left out um, or doesn't know about, Bernie Sanders is not suggesting that we should have people in this country be so impoverished so, you know, economically um, disadvantaged that they have to line up for bread that's provided by the government. That's literally the opposite of what he wants. Like, he wants us to have economic independence. He wants to increase our purchasing power. But in the context of the way he was talking about bread lines, is he was saying governments 
should be responsive to the needs of the people. And a government in a highly impoverished country that is at least trying to offer bread to people, that's better than a government that just says, you know what, starve. So context absolutely matters. He's not saying, like, are you honestly saying that Bernie Sanders wants us to be as bad as Nicaragua where we have to have these bread lines? Of course not. He's talking about need. He's talking about the delivery of goods and services. He's talking about being responsive to the needs of the people. So for you to twist that is incredibly nefarious and disingenuous, but this is one of the dumber Fox News hosts, and you're going to see that. So as usual, Juan Williams, he was the only reasonable person on the panel, and he said Bernie is talking transformational politics on issues that the Republicans have nothing to say about. Now, here's where she chimed in, and she almost made my head explode. You know, Juan, the way that you change behavior, especially when it comes to pollution and the environment, is to do it all on an individual level. Oh my god, you moron. Have you, like, read anything about climate change and climate change mitigation and adaptation? Do you know anything? Do you even believe in climate change, for one? But, I mean, do you honestly believe that, one, all Americans would be willing to make these changes at the, at the individual level? And even if they did make those changes, do you honestly believe that that would suffice? Of course not, because we're talking about large multinational corporations that pollute the fucking planet. Get that through your thick skull, dummy. We're not talking about the climate changing and becoming uninhabitable because a bunch of people are polluting the water that we drink and pumping greenhouse gases into the air from their fucking Xboxes. We're talking about large multinational corporations that cut corners and pollute the planet to increase profits, you dumb fucker. How do you not get that? God, Fox News hosts, like, I hope that she's just being disingenuous. I hope that she's just lying through her teeth because if you're that stupid, then you absolutely should not be on national television espouting whatever nonsense you believe because it's just fucking dumb. Like, I, I know I'm being a dick, but I, I can't help it. Like, the planet is on the cusp of becoming uninhabitable for us, right? So for you to suggest, oh, well, you know, let's all just do better, guys. Come on, let's reduce our carbon footprints individually. That's not realistic. You need a government and governments, plural, to come together and address this issue. The United States is the biggest country militarily, economically, so we can easily be a leader here. But Donald Trump is an imbecile. He doesn't even believe in climate change. So what Bernie Sanders is saying is, I'm going to make us a world leader. I'm going to make sure that we have a Green New Deal that doesn't just make us a world leader when it comes to green renewable technology, but it pays for itself within 15 years. It brings other countries together, creates a fund for developing countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And guess what? We could potentially save the planet this way. We change the way our economy functions. But this Fox News host... Um, since she's getting paid, I'm assuming six figures, would rather lie about that. It's just, it's disgusting. Now, here's where she really shows all of her cards here. She says, Bernie Sanders can't name one possible thing to cut back on when he's telling us he's going to tax you out the wazoo, tax the middle class, sue the oil companies, completely take over the government with the oil companies for no crime they've committed, and yet he's not willing to say one thing he's willing to do. But wait, didn't you just contradict yourself? Because you're saying, oh, Bernie Sanders wants to do all of these things and sue fossil fuel companies, but yet he's not saying a single thing that he wants to do. You just cited some of the things that he wants to do. Now, part of that, you know, was you lying, but he wants to do something. But of course, you know, it has to be at the individual level, because if you're a Fox News host, you know, that's the only thing that you can say that would be acceptable to Fox News' right-wing advertisers and the bosses over at Fox News because you're supposed to pretend like climate change is um, a hoax or, at best, it's real, but, you know, the climate is just always changing. So that's all it takes, though, right? Why didn't we think about this sooner? Individuals could have solved this climate crisis a long time ago. I guess that the indigenous tribes in the Amazon can just choose to not have their homes destroyed by private corporations. I guess that we can choose to not create large multinational corporations and pollute the planet ourselves. Done. I mean, what are you saying? We have, what, 11 years to act, to take drastic action, 
to stop a climate catastrophe. And there are still people on Fox News who have no sense of urgency whatsoever. And they're still promoting this harmful idea that at the individual level, that's the way that we solve climate change. This is a micro level issue and definitely not a macro level issue. So you should probably stop pressuring lawmakers to impose more regulations on these companies that are polluting the planet and just, you know, choose to not pollute the planet yourself, uh, you know, recycle more. I mean, this is just downright dangerous now. Like, I would love to say this is just Fox News stupidity, so let's laugh and point the finger at them and make fun of them. But I mean, we're in crunch mode. We have 11 years to potentially stop climate catastrophe and save the planet. So this this can't stand. Anyone who's saying this at this point in time is a danger to the world. Is a danger to the world. And I don't think that that's being hyperbolic.